Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. J. B. Shir Sagar, Chief Planner, TCP couldn't make this, and he got a sudden call from PMO. So on his behalf, I'm making a presentation on the subjects, geospatial solution for urban development at national levels. We are from Town and Country Planning Organization, Ministry of Urban Development. So basically, our main aim or motto is to control, to regulate the urbanization. And as United Nations is saying that in 2010, we were accounting 11% population, urban population of the world, and in 2030, we'll be having 15%, 1-5, 15%. If you see this slide, there were 5,161 towns in 2001, which has grown to 7,933 in 2011. And if you see this, the last 50 years growth of urban centers, you we'll see that total population in 1961 was 78.9 million and it has increased to 377.1 million. And urbanization level in India, it has, it has grown from 17.96% to 31.16. And very peculiar uh, situation is coming Then on every decade, the growth is 3 to 4%. It's not less than 3%, it's not more than 4%. Now you see the class-wise decadal growth in India. Let's, let's read this slide in a reverse manner. Let's see first the class 6 towns, population, which are towns which are having population below 5,000. They are grown from two now in number two thirty two to four ninety eight and the, they have grown one eighty six percent and if you go upward and see the class one towns, which is no, nowadays a, a attraction point a maximum infrastructure provision maxima, maximum schemes are going in these class one towns they are they have grown only thirty four point nine percent. So I would like to say here that the scope of development, or I would say the, the, the town of the smaller size, size are growing very fast. They are very vibrant and having a lot of scopes of physical development. We have to concentrate and we have to regulate first the smaller size town rather than bigger town. If you see the metro status of metropolitan cities in the country, in 1961 there was only seven metropolitan cities, which has grown to 53 in 2011. And these are having 42.6% urban population share. And during last decade, between 2001 to 2011, the number of metropolitan cities has increase very sharply from 35 to 53. And this slide shows the current situation and the projected situation. You see 2011 there is 377 million people lives in urban areas. While in 2013 this figure will be 600 million. Now, top 10 cities accounts 93 million pupils, which will increase to 140 million in 2031. Number of metropolitan cities are 53, which will grow to 87 in the next 20 years. 160 million people lives in metropolitan cities in 2011, which will be 255 million in 2031. 52% is urban share of GDP in 2004 and 5, which will be 75% in 2031. The percentage of urbanization is th from 31% to 50%. Now, as a town planner, 
what we town planner requires to regulate to control the growth of a town of a city is a master plan the picture says that out of 7933 towns we have only around 1200 towns which are which are having a statutory master plan which comes around 15% it's a very alarming situation rest 85% towns are growing without any regulation any control so at ministry of urban development level what we town what we town planner require for preparation of a master plan a accurate updated base map if we can we prepare the base map through conventional methods it takes a lot of time so we thought let's use the state of technologies the geospatial solutions so there was some activities starts happening we we start using uh, base maps prepared through remote sensing and gis and this is what our requirement at different level if we are preparing a regional plan which is supposed to be at 1 is to 50000 satellite images are enough sub regional plan which is which has to be at 1 is to 25000 satellite images are enough we call it a development plan or master plan normally we prepared at 1 is to 10000 scales there we required high resolution satellite images most probably if you talk about indian satellites cartosat 2 further if you go in a detail zonal plan 1 is to 2000 through aerial photography site plan 1 is to 1000 or 500 required from total station now there were some efforts of ministry of urban development i'll just quickly brief there was early days when we start using gis and remote sensing we did uis urban information system for anand municipalities the first regional plan using gis was prepared by tcpo in 1990 of our bharatpur districts rajasthan there was some you must be knowing that there is a special provisions there is a special building bylaws for lutian bangla zones we prepared gis application for this now the simultaneously small and big initiatives in the field of urban development using state of technologies were happening so we thought let's put together we launch an urban mapping scheme that's called ums to cover 53 towns at 2500 scale it was in two phases first phase was not in a digital form but second phase we got a digital maps now after completion of this scheme we got a feedback from the state town country planning departments other users and we launch a national urban information system scheme a biggest uh, initiatives of urban development in in the field of gis and remote sensing to cover 152 towns these are the location of the towns all all class all uh, all class from all the states were covered and objectives was the scheme of to to develop the attribute and special information base for various urban planning levels use modern data sources develop standards develop urban indices build capacity which provides the decision making uh this scheme was launched as i said one for 152 towns the uh, total outlay of 66.28 crores all these 152 towns were covered at two scales one is to 10000 for a planning area one is to 2000 for core area and we have selected 22 towns for uh, for utility mapping using ground penetrating radar the map has been generated we have supplied for waiting to state nodal agencies normally they are town and country planning departments in all the states we provide hardware software under the scheme to state nodal agencies and all the towns all nois towns 
there is a attribute component in the scheme that is called national urban data bank and indicators NDB. here we design a performer what attribute information is required for formulate a master plan which has been collected and there's a very strong uh, capacity building components we trained almost uh, 2000 town planning professionals in the field of remote sensing and gis this is a methodology you can see the current status of the scheme as on date 32 states are on board mapping all at 1 is to 10,000 scale has been completed for 150 towns final data has been delivered for 71 towns 1 is to 2,000 scale mapping has been completed for 151 towns and final data has been given to 28 towns unfortunately utility mapping has yet to take uh, taken up and the data for national urban data bank and indicator collection has been uh, completed for one 125 towns uh, let's talk about the one is to 10,000 maps these were the <clears throat> 12 thematics layers we generated under the uh, scheme urban land use physiography geomorphology geology lithology soil drainage surface water road rail canal transport these are some quick maps. Let's say Chandigarh, Patna, Bilaspur, Surat, Anantanag in JNK, Imphal in Manipur, Margao, Goa. Raur Kela in Urisa, Panipat in Haryana. Now, uh, now as in the date that mapping has been generated for 150 towns and these data of these towns has been uploaded on Bhuvan portal, that is Department of Space uh, Geo portal. Uh, so it has been uploaded, anybody can access. Uh, we have a very extensive uh, uh, training program on this. We are training all the town planning departments, officials to formulate uh, master plan using Bhuvan. We are going, we have conducted national workshops, regional workshops. Now we are conducting uh, state level workshops in all the states. And as ministry directed that one town from or each state should be selected for formulate the master plan at least 35 master plan should be prepared as a model for the states so rest they will take care of thank you very much